Hey love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope you are able to be, you know, doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and I hope the same for you. Um, to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, just thank you. Thank you for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you um, have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, Please drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, if you feel like the videos um, give you a good uplift to give you a good vibe and you would love to share it with another person to do the same, please go ahead and do so. It's truly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my videos. Y'all, it's just like the universe has been having me touch subjects that are so like ugh, like I don't like talking about but I know it's something that you know a lot of us is within our circle we have dealt with I know I've dealt with it so it was like not me speaking on um personal personal experience per se but it's just the fact is uh healing from a lot of different things because this is called the questions we question from uh toxic patterns and behaviors of ourselves with other people you know especially when you're dealing with uh being the narcissist supply you know you're in toxic behaviors you know you have your own toxic behavior especially if we normalize them for a long time you know because like i said before you know it, it was like me writing down different things because i didn't want to forget because i know it was touching home for a lot you know it's just like uh even when i'm doing you know seeing different videos i had to change a lot because there was so many different negative things that i was watching like i love watching you know um the different crime shows and i had to stop watching that um for a minute you know i was just like oh i'm getting you know in that vibration where I'm, I'm i'm getting toxic and i don't like being that way i don't like consuming that kind of energy in my life you know it can be entertainment but if you start getting too towards that it, you know you can become that you're succumbing that you know i mean what well, you're consuming that and i didn't want to be that way it's like the questions that we we question you know especially when it comes to the uh narc supply you know a lot of times i hear on cora i think that's what it's called cora cora q u a r r what is it q u o r a like a lot of them come up to me um on my notifications and i was like that those are really good questions because a lot of times you know um they, they feel like you know does the the narcissist ever runs out of supply when it comes to you and it's just like if you are that person that always supplies them on that if you're you're that type of person that um basically you're a yes person to everything that they want you know they they can get to that point where they control you on different things you know it could be you know uh making it feel like you, you're not they can be with another person you know it is the fact is they're probably already with another person you know they got you on rotation you know i had to be able to learn stuff like that um you know um being able to break that cycle with that you know a lot of times um like I was watching a video yesterday and when I say that hit my heart it hit home because it's like a lot of times when you're getting into you know narcissistic relationships or toxic vibrations it can really really question your worth you know it'll be I've, I've seen it where it came to me as well as other people when you're looking on the outside and you can see how damaging those relationships has got you especially like if you haven't text somebody and somebody texts you and you didn't have time to all of a sudden you'll start going um in an explanation i'll tell people real quick don't do that you know there i, I can i have to understand you know you got busy, especially if you got kids you know i say you you can probably got busy with them with their homework or you know you're talking to them you're asking them how their day was you know you spilling that me time with them you know it'll be times that you're probably by yourself or you're at work or whatever and when the kids come home they want your your attention you know somebody who understands especially if it's a mother to a mother or you know a friend it, it could be opposite sex or whatever and they you know and they understand that you got a life a, away from them you know they're gonna you know it, it, unless it's something like it's emergency like hey you know are you okay you just you know making sure something's okay with you that's a different story but there's a lot of times where we get into that habit of wanting to explain ourselves and a lot of times when you have gone through that you know people uh feel like can i ever change the narcissist no you can't change anybody i mean it would be a good thing if i ever met a narcissist that will be willing to change 
you know and it was just like I felt I, it kind of scared me because at one time I thought I was a narcissist but it was just like you know narcissists there's not too many narcissists unless they're trying to make you know a, a psychological thing with you a connection with you to admit they're like that because they're trying to pull you in in some kind of way but this is like talking to myself it's like no you've normalized that but you picked up some traits with that and you normalized that because it was like me being a victim and me turning to the corporate at the same time but me being able to honestly say yeah I had narcissistic tendency because I normalized that I thought it was that that was how you were raised this is what kind of relationships that that's what how relationships were until I started going through my my awakening you know going through that and it was just like trying to understand that you know and I had to tell people as well as myself when things start getting negative like really was well, already negative anyway if it's you know it's connecting to that you know uh narcissistic person or it's a toxic you know relationship you know um it, it will make you look at life in a negative way like you know you can't get past this or you know i'm still in this situation because i needed you know a hero i need them to save my day no they're not going to say you save you they're they're going to probably try to take you out you know probably try to make you take your own self out but there's nothing that they can do except make you heal on your own because it's just like i've said before you are a narcissist you are a toxic person's worst nightmare especially if you're an empath you know a lot of times we're our own worst nightmare because there's a lot of things that we won't you know come to terms with there's a lot of things that we may feel like oh i'm over but you know deep down inside you know this is still messing with you you know you still being but when you're honest with yourself and say you know what i'm still recovering you know i'm still healing i'm still going through it day by day and that's when you're allowing yourself to be accepted of whatever is going on with your life is not normal this is not something that's best for you but these are the things that's going to get you and i i I've, i had to learn with me with my family with my relationships it was the best thing for me even though at times when i'm going through it I'll get very angry, but this was the things is like you needed to know this. This is where you're telling you where it's telling you where your love needs to come from self. This is helping you love yourself. This is where self care comes in. This is where uh, this is not going to be acceptable. This is you know I I demand respect. I'm going to get respect. If you can't give it to me, I'm not going to do that. You know a lot of times we we want to get combative with toxic people like that. You know there's a lot of times you can put somebody in their place and be like hey. I'm not going to be arguing with you. <laughs> you know, this is going to be, I already see where it's going, and I'm not going to do that. You know, but there'll be different times. It's like with me, I'm a hothead. You know, I you just be that, I had to be that person. Like, I, I talk mess. You put me in that position, I'm going to show you where I can really tend. You know, I'll give you the map to where you can go. You know, but now it's at that point where is this really worth my energy? Is this person really worth me getting my character on? Because there'll be different times where they can feel that your energy is like, is all over the place so they want to add towards that and those are the different things where you have to be able to allow yourself to not be combative with them you will never win with a narcissist you don't you can't uh convince them or try to uh you know explain to them why because they know exactly what they're doing you know they know exactly what they're doing it's like can can they see do they have feelings you know i feel like they do but it's just always you know centered around them you know what 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 is taking place in their life what can i feed on where's my supply you know um where where it, okay if that person because like right now i feel like it to be honest with you it's like the narcissist's worst nightmare right now because it's like you only can be you only can conceal your identity for so long because it's like your 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 patterns will start to show. You you you're not consistent. You'll say one thing and you'll do it next, or you'll come up with excuse where you feel like you were justified to do that certain situation, or you'll get me mixed up with somebody else's situation. Oh, remember when we did this? Uh, we didn't do that. You know, it'll be a different situation like that, and it'll be certain things. You know, um, where you can be in a situation, and I notice you know with certain things that it is just like if you have a very low self-esteem i used to be back in my teenage years it's like when i started getting my 20s and mid-20s it's like i would see patterns 
but it was like it was different with my teens because if I feel like if I seen somebody put somebody down or somebody was fighting over me that was like an ego boost for me but now if I see that now that's just like I put I have to put myself in a situation like okay if you're doing this person like that if you have that opportunity to do me that way you would do me the same way you're doing that person. Like if there there was a female that was dogging a guy and he's doing everything he possibly can. Because there's a lot of times men go through that. It's not always women going through it. It'd be men going through it too. Because I met a couple of men that is going through it. And it, it, it's like they them women can be brutal. And they'll be like, well, I'm trying to do this. Next thing you know, I got to jail. You know, this person, you know, and it'll be some stuff where I know that they're not lying. You know, you can link and, you know, and you can tell when somebody trying to pull your chain and make themselves look like a victim. And I've seen it and I'm like, oh, Lord, here we go. You know, trying to make that person look bad or whatever. Or there's always two sides to a story. It's their truth, your truth, and the truth, you know. And that person will be there. And then I'm like, you know what? It's going to be a chance. This is that situation where it just seemed like if you're trying to go to a shelter, you're trying to call the cops, you're trying to get family involved and nothing seemed to work. It's because that situation was supposed to change you. It's like man up. Know your power. This is something that is going to create something in you that's going to make you a beast or a god. And it's pretty much in the same kind of vibration. And you know, and the questions with that, like why am I, am I attracted to this person? Why do I keep doing that? And a lot of times we don't understand whatever that that they hold into their life is something that we can really, 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 really um, relate to. You know, I was just like, there'll be different guys that, you know, I dated or different girls that I've dated that um, that was very, you know, I didn't have no toxic vibrations with them, but we had a lot in common. But then there'll be different things that I've had where it was very toxic. You know, it'll be different folks. It's like, I know I'm doing emotional clearing when people coming up in my dream and like, what the hell? I wasn't thinking about you. You ain't never came in my mind. <laughs> and I was like, I almost forgot about you. Now I almost scared the mess out of me coming up. I was like, ugh. You know, it almost made my, see, made my dad going back itch. <laughs> you know, it was like thinking about stuff like that. I'm like, what the hell are you coming up in my dream for? No, you playing a cameo. You got to go. But. It's letting you know you're doing a lot of emotional clearing because it's it, it's just you can tell when you're allowing yourself to, you know, recycle on those emotions or different things that's coming up that's showing you see how far you came. You see how much these situations have changed you. A lot of times it can make you into a brutal person that you don't want to trust. I've been there, you know, especially when it hit deep because it was family that did that. It was people that, you know, I loved and respected did that. So it was like really hard for me to get in, you know, in, in connection with in that trust uh, vibration that trust connection with other people and it's just like I'm learning to have to be able to trust my own intuition now it's just like telling you to follow your gut telling yourself that you know this is that situation that was better in you to help you love yourself make you respect yourself you know have your self worth you know is going to be top tier you going to have boundaries like you you going to allow yourself to not entertain people's foolishness you know being able to understand that they're doing this to another person trust believe you're going to be in that motion where you're going to be right there exactly with that person it made me think about when i was listening to that 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 um one that was called about surviving a narcissist that man he's a therapist and he got some really good videos out and when he was saying something remind me of chris watts and i don't know what made me think yeah i did because it was something he said and it was just like I don't, you know, I'm hoping that woman didn't know, but it's just a vibe to make me know that you knew, you knew something was going on more than what you're saying, but it is what it is. But it's just like, if this man was really going to get rid of his wife, what if he got tired of you? Don't you think that if he was able to do that to his wife or a woman was being able to do that to her husband or baby daddy or whatever, don't you know if the, if, if the time was right or it was a certain thing that it, that really quenched their thirst or got their attention. Do you not think that they won't do that to you? And that'll make me think like, dang, you know, if that person, would, you know, some people get off like, man, they done killed this and this and this and that person for me. I'm like, boo, that is not nothing to brag about. Do you realize if they did this and that for that person, what make you think that they won't do that to you? You know, just because you the, you, you the pick of the week. Don't think if it's somebody who's used to be on heavy on rotations that you just don't know about or you just got that gut feeling about. Don't think that, that if the time right or something was good for you or something, you know, that that is something that they want. 
and they want something better and you they don't got tired of you don't think that they won't do that to you and that's the scary thing you know it could be a black widow i don't know what they call the black men you know the men that they do that you know they know the women is called black widow when they be killing them them husbands and getting them out the way but i don't know what they call the men but it's just so many things that we question is like can narcissists heal i really feel like if they do i would really love for them to do a term paper on themselves because i would really want to understand how you did it because i know you you had to go through some depths of some trenches of some healing and that had to be really crazy because it, it's just like right now where everything is going on because it was just like when, when I was guided to do this video I'm like man I really don't want to make this personal but there are a lot of people it was well as myself where I felt my self-worth was really questioning you know being able to doubt myself you know making these people define who I am and not defining myself is like whatever your opinion is about me doesn't define me you know, if I'm allowing myself, I'm, you know, what I'm going through is very heavy, but it's just like you, you making that bold choice to face your fears. And that is a, a, a thing that a lot of people can't do, you know, and it, it, it's just like when we do that, we're facing a lot of things that turned us in a certain way. that made us look at ourselves that certain way. It may, may make us look at our children in a certain way it made us build up a, a, a character about ourselves in a way that you know that was built on whatever illusion that toxic vibration was in and you're you're allowing yourself to heal and and focus on you know what i don't want this type of vibration around me i don't want to keep attracting that and if it's like you know you going through a good thing because i noticed with me i'm not attracting negative people like i used to you know, and if I do, I can point them out very, you know, very quick, you know, like before I was able to do it before. And that is a good thing. It's just like when I feel like I'm by myself, that lets me know I'm focusing on myself. Universe is bringing people in my life. They're very nurturing. And that's letting me know I'm nurturing myself. You know, there'll be different people that come into your life that don't have that good intention for you you know and and it will be that experience that you need it and a lot of times it hurts for it to happen that way i've been there you know especially being on this on this you know platform i had to deal with a lot of stuff like that but it took me a long time to be able to say that was something my soul needed this is something that helped me strengthen myself in different ways that i didn't know that you know uh, learning that you you when there's people that are in these sadistic type vibrations psychotic type vibrations that holds the vibrations of a sociopath a psychopath uh, 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 a, a narciss narcissistic person or a narcissistic uh, personality disorder all those different things you know this person went through something for them to be that way but it's like it is not your job to have to fix them only thing you can do is fix you you can't force somebody to be that way don't feel like your love can be able to change them what you can give them can be able to change them only they can be able to do that that's just as like if somebody's trying to push you to heal and they feel like my love should be able to heal that person no that love should be able to heal that can be a part of that but them wanting to heal that's where the game changer is when somebody wants to change but it's just like what a narcissist when you you can be that that favorite supply when you're allowing yourself to keep supplying what they need but when you get to that point where you start seeing the patterns when you start seeing their faults and you start calling them out on it and you're not being combative with them you're just saying what you need to say and keep it cut dry that is the worst thing they don't like because it's like you're they're feeding your attention and you know i used to be that type of person where i want to be speaking negative on social media and stuff like that and it's just like don't do that that's why it was just like very hard for me to do this video because i said i don't want nobody thinking i'm speaking on them it's about the experience but it's not talking about us you know like oh this person did that this that it's not about that it's just about going through that healing journey that i went through that i'm still going through you know um and seeing how far i come see see what different situations where okay you need work on this and that is on that journey when you're allowing yourself, you know, it's all about how you tend to look at your things in a healing vibration, you know, and a lot of times when you're going through negative circumstances and that mess can be heavy, like it can carry a heavy weight like a wrecking ball, you know, but hold the Miley Cyrus, you know, it's like a wrecking ball, but hold the Miley Cyrus, 
you can go through that but just being able to say that person or these individuals showed me the direction I needed to be able to do when I know I'm ready to run from that that's showing me Rosalind you need patience or this person needs patience with this situation it's hard to say that when you can see these people egging you on you can see where people are trying to make you sabotage yourself or make you you know question your own existence within yourself but then that's that person is showing you you need to stop doubting yourself you know, there's something in you that triggers them to make them do that because they see that you have that within yourself to heal. You know, because it's just like, especially if you're that type of person or something about you, you know, there'll be that person that will dog you out. You know, if they're saying whatever they're going to say about you, anytime when you, when you become that person where you're not being manipulated no more, you're not being controlled, you're not allowing yourself to have to look for their approval for anything, you become the worst enemy. You know, they will talk about you until it's up under the sun. You be having enemies that you don't even know you have because they became the, oh, woe is me. And not even realizing you they're being groomed like you were being groomed from whoever they were dealing with when it came to you. It's always a pattern with that. But it's like when you're going through this, this is going to be exactly what you needed to heal. And a lot of times it's like, how can you say that, you know, I'm going through a situation. I don't know your situation, but I knew mine. But I know there's a lot of times you can be in toxic situations and it will make you question your worth. It will make you question your existence. It will make you question that the fact is that you can't be out of a, the situation like that. And a lot of times when it feels like you're backed in the corner, sometimes we back our own self in the corner because we feel like we can't deal with it. And there's a lot of times that you're in a situation like that. You're trying to get out of it. You know, there's a lot of people go to domestic violence shelters. You know, you call the hotlines that get you out here. You know, the police puts that person in jail or there's family to support you. But then when it's like you're dealing with this on your own, this is that situation where universe is telling you this situation going to change you in a good way, but only if you allow it to. Because it's just like your, your, question, your questions of, of questioning about your toxic behaviors, about the people that you connect with, about the narcissists and their behaviors, the changes they go through. You know, they're diabolical. They're, you know, they're, they can be conniving. They can be the tricksters. You know, we, hey, Okas, we're the tricksters, but we're tricksters of truth. They're tricksters of illusion. And you're going through these different things. And then when you get to that vibration and you get to that peaceful point, you can see, you know, them doubting them, them doubts of their selves. They try to doubt you because they see that power. You're that supply that they get that from. So they will make you doubt your own existence. They will make you do that. But this is that thing, you know, if they're so convinced that I'm not this, why do they got to keep convincing me of that? You have to be able to question your own questions about that, you know, because a lot of times we can get that, well, maybe they're right, you know, maybe, you know, they're saying I'm this and this and that, maybe, you know, and that's where universe is telling you stop, you know, defining yourself off of other people's expectations off of you, whatever uh, their perspectives are off of you. These are the things is how do you see yourself? You may be going through a rough patch in your life right now because you're healing. You're going through a time of acceptance, acceptance of self-acceptance of who you are. You may not be a perfect person, but you've gone through a human experience. And you may not like what that experience done put you through. You know, like I, I've said, I've had issue with my weight and I had to learn to love myself a lot more because I had to say, girl, you've been through a lot. You went through that time where you were living through denial on, you know, being a functioning uh, uh, weed smoker, you know, uh, having drinks where, you know, instead of allowing yourself to go through everything in a sober mind, you know, and there'll be different times where Universal add uh, extra weight to me and just like you have to deal with this sober. You know, there'll be times I crave cigarettes and stuff like that. And it's like, no, you have to deal with this sober. You you know, this is the only way you're going to get through it. And it's like you're coming through a powerful change. You know, especially if you're a number person, you will see the different numbers that comes up that shows you. You're going through a huge turnaround. It's like right now, if you see a moon 
symbol a lot like if you t deal with tarot cards or you see it on your phone or you see it on social media it's telling you a lot of things are revealing to you it could be you know different people you're dealing with like it could be deception or you know lies or anything like that but if you're feeling that in your gut what's going on then that's usually what it is but on the main thing is revealing something to you that you may not been able to see just yet you had to connect with a certain person that was nurturing that was probably on the same vibe as you on that healing vibe and you're connecting with different people that are going through that and like hey you know I'm going through this too and you connect with them and there's a lot of different things and it could be a connection that could last for a good minute you know this could be a person that you can grow with you know you know it could be a friend it could be you know a relationship on the potential you know and but it's just something that y'all both needed at the same time because you're going through that same journey you know but it's just different you know focus of eyes so you're going through these different things that will make you question the patterns and behaviors of yourself the behaviors of others you know being able to see that you know because it's, it's just like a lot of times you know especially when it comes to certain times of the year you know certain times it's very sad and depressing to me a lot of times i have to really force myself to see it in a nurturing way even though it may be a sad and moment of that time but think about this this is something that you know you're on a journey especially for somebody that you missed it has passed away um there there's times when we feel sadness there'll be times that we feel anger you know especially depending on how that person was you know they transition it just really depends and you have to go through that time knowing you know they're on that spiritual journey you know you're on this spiritual journey they're on that spiritual journey with you as yourself uh, are on yourself but they're they're protecting you from the other side they're allowing you to know even though we may not like what we're going through but it's telling you you know even though life was denied with them they want you to live for them they want you to breathe for them you know letting you know that life is too short you know if you have people in your life for a brief moment you know I had to learn that as well enjoy that time where you had you know even when it revealed something that you know was totally came out of blue like that person had hidden intentions but just say I'm glad I learned this with you instead of you know I was at that person where I'd be ready to beat your ass down you know if I find when you come connect with me again I'll be ready to do that but now it's just like that person is who that person is. I got to accept that. You know, yeah, they may have done some trifling stuff to me. But they were showing me where they were. And that showed me my place with, with them as well as within myself. And I appreciate that. You know, like, oh, you mad? No, I'm a changed person. I'm not going to allow you to take me out of my career. Allowing you to still know that this is still affecting me. But I appreciate that. I'm not going to sit up here and take away this time where I wish, you know, I was that type of person where I wished I never met that person. Or I wish I would have been able to see that. Or how come I couldn't see it before? You had to go through those experiences. You had to go and learn those behaviors. So in case if it happened again, you know what you're dealing with. You know, if you see yourself going in a certain pattern, you know what you're dealing with. You know yourself better than yourself. And a lot of times we don't realize that because we stay focused on the wrong thing. But I hope you were able to resonate with this. Ooh, it felt good because it was just like, I'm not trying to make this personal. I don't want to go to, on that route, you know, making this personal about me. But it was just about, there's a lot of times when we have a lot of que more questions than we do answers. And there's a lot of times, there's a lot of us that are going through toxic, you know, transitions when it comes to narcissists. Or, you know, when you're going through narcissist behavior within yourself, especially if you've been exposed to it a lot. And you're trying to go on that vibe of healing you know and you're trying to allow yourself to disconnect from that because you are your true power and a lot of times you have to recognize that through hard circumstances you know I learn that every day you really do you learn more about yourself in a positive sense when you're dealing with negative circumstances just all about how you choose to you know focus on that vibration of doing that so I hope this was able to resonate with anybody that's going through that if you're going through it just know you're going to get over this you know, if you have surpassed that, there's a lot of people that have been in a situation like this that didn't make it. And they're probably being that one that's going to root for you. I've had a lot of people that um, I connected with that have passed away in domestic violence. And it's just a blessing that, you know, they can tell me, Rosalind, I don't want you living that life. And you see where it led me to, you know. Um, 
and I've done that and uh, it's a blessing that I can have them by my side but it's also a blessing that I can be able to overcome something that you know a lot of many people have it, and just as well as you as well so I hope you are able to resonate with that like I said I'll always leave my contact information in the description box below um, especially uh, my link to my podcast as well in case that you would you know love to listen to that it's on Spotify um, and I leave my contact information in there, you know, where a lot of people connect with me. You know, I always tell them, you know, it's my purpose to be able to broaden that perspective. You know, I'm a seer, you know, I'm a visualizer, you know, just to be able to give somebody a deeper understanding about their purpose um, and understand why certain things are taking place. If, you know, universe is guiding me to be able to do that. And usually they are if you find me in that way. So whatever we speak on is confidential um, as well. And you can just, you know, drop me a line or whatever because there's a lot of times people don't feel comfortable with speaking about those different circumstances on here on the tube of you so they always hit me up email or you know IG or whatever and we can go from there whatever we speak on is confidential if you actually feel generous enough you know to drop a donation and there's also my cash app as well as there um, so I hope you have a blessed day. Be responsible at everything you do. I know it's the beginning of the week, but we're going through a lot of, you know, you're probably feeling a lot of transferences coming on right now. There's a lot of heavy moments, but you're seeing that it's like that. It's like that vibration of an extra push. So I know it's with me there. They got me talking about a lot of different things, especially, you know, I don't like talking about narcissists and stuff like that, you know, but it was just like, you have to do this, but you're going to do it in a positive way, you know? So, uh, you know much love to you and i hope you are able to resonate with this you know if you're going through this you know this too shall pass this is going to be something that's going to change your life in a drastic way but for a better way you know for you to be able to add extra love to yourself extra you know self-worth self-respect self-reliance of yourself so you'll see me on my next video much love to you peace namaste